I have seen my last tomorrow. I am holding my last breath. Goodbye, sweet world of sorrow. My new life begins with death. I am standing on the mountain. I can hear the angel songs. I am reaching over Jordan. Take my hand. Look up. 
around Was it worth the wait Welcome home Step through the gate There's a day just out in front of us I know will surely come That eastern sky will open wide Revealing God's dear Son And I know from here to heaven Is but the twinkling of an eye And in the midst of all His glory Comes the sweetest cry Welcome home I knew you'd come Welcome home You're here for good Look around Was it worth the wait? Welcome home Step through the gate I believe at least for me And my sisters And everywhere our friends Oh, the greetings will be precious From those we've loved so dear But a mortal man has never heard The likes of when he hears Welcome home I knew Thank you, Sandy, for those beautiful songs today. Well, friends, we're going to start something new this week. Uh, we're going to start having a prayer list, and as we pray, we want you to pray for these people. God knows their heart, and God knows their uh, need. We'd like to uh, you remember John Childress. In your prayers, along with Marie Nations, Toot Calvin, Lisa Carringer Moore, Katie Carter, Evelyn Luther, Summer Carringer, and the Jerry Beavers family. Jerry lost his wife this past week, and we want you to remember his uh, family in prayer and lift them up to the Lord today. If you would, turn in your Bibles to uh, uh, James chapter 2, starting out with verse 14. James chapter 2, and uh, verse 14. We're going to be talking today about faith without works. And the Bible says, What doeth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he hath faith and have not works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, 
And one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warned and filled. Notwithstanding, ye give them not those things which are needful to the body, what doeth it profit? Even so faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Thou hast believest that there is one God. Thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. But will thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar? Seest, how, seest thou how faith wrought with his works? And by works was faith made perfect. And the scripture was fulfilled, which saith, Abraham believeth God, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. You see then that by works a man is justified, and not by faith only. Likewise also was not Rahab the harlot justified by works when she had received the messengers and had sent them out another way. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Fathers, we come to you this morning, God. We're so thankful, Lord, for another opportunity, Lord, to stand and go out over the Internet this morning, God. Father, we pray, Lord, that this message would touch some soul this morning, God. Father, we pray for those on the prayer list this morning. Lord, be with John Childress this morning, along with Marie Nations and Toot Colin, Lisa Marie Moore, Katie Carter, Evelyn Luther, Summer Carringer, and the Jerry Beavers family. Lord, you know the need of these hearts, God. Father, we just pray, Lord, that you would touch their bodies this morning, God. Lord, fill them with the Spirit this morning, God. And Father, we ask healing upon those which are sick. And Father, we ask these in thy holy, precious name, and for your sake, in Jesus' name, amen. And amen. Now, this morning we want to talk about works without faith. You know, I can remember growing up as a child where if somebody said that they had faith, they showed it. They would help those in need. They would lend a helping hand to those who are in need. You know, I can remember a time when churches, if they knew that your roof was leaking, they would be there with hammer and nails and materials to fix that roof. If they knew you were having surgery, they would be there. They would have prayer. They would even cook meals for the family while that person was in the hospital having surgery. Churches would be the church. What's wrong with our churches today? You never hear of a church going out and doing some uh, manual labor to help somebody. We're living in a fast time, and everybody gets carried away with these fast times. But, folks, we need to slow down. We need to take time to help those in need. Father, Lord, help me this morning, Jesus. 
Nobody has time to stop and help somebody along the way no more. But faith without works is dead. You can say, oh, I've got faith in Jesus all you want to. But if you don't show your works by your faith, your faith is dead. Lord, I just pray, Lord, that you would talk to these churches, Lord. Talk to these Christians, Lord, that claim they have faith, but yet they never lift a hand to help someone in need. Lord, we're living in a trying time. Nobody wants to lift a hand to help somebody anymore. We're all guilty of this. <laughs> I can name off plenty of people who has leaky roofs, but no way to pay for a new roof. And these churches, they beg for your money each and every Sunday. They ask for your tithes. Where do those tithes go? To a bank account? I mean, sure, it takes money to run a church. You got to pay the power bill. You got to pay the gas bill to run the furnace during the winter or the air conditioner during the summer. But these churches are racking up. But yet, nobody has time to help those in need. Friends, we need to check our hearts. Check them real good. Make sure we're doing what God intends for us to do. God intended for us when we got saved to put out works. To help those in need. Everybody's for their self anymore. Nobody cares about anybody else. Only thing they care about is that their needs are met. They, they have no sympathy. No cares about anybody else. We as Christians have an obligation to God to work for Him no matter what it is, whether it's helping somebody, whether it's sharing God's Word with people, if it's witnessing to someone, we all need to show our faith by the works that we put out for God. Father, I just pray this morning that each and every one that's listening to this broadcast today, Lord, would check their hearts, Lord, to make sure that they're doing what God intends for them to do. Everybody's too concerned with their own needs. Don't care about nobody else. But Father, we just pray this morning, Lord, God, that you would speak to those hearts, God. Convict with your mighty power, God, those who just set about. You know, it's easy to come home from work, sit down there in that recliner, get up and go to the table when the wife says dinner's ready. And go back to that recliner and sit there till it's time to go to bed. Oh, I've got to get up early in the morning and and go to work. Don't have time to go help somebody. Father, we just pray, Lord, that you would touch those hearts. Lord, make them realize, God, that they need to be putting works to their faith or putting their faith into works for Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, have pity on those souls 
who claim to be Christians, Lord, but never lifts a hand to help another soul. You know, a lot of times, a person's not able to mow their yard. What do we do? Just sit there and let it grow up? Or do we show them we care about them? Go mow their yard. Maybe it'll take an hour. Maybe it'll take an hour and a half. Some yards don't even take that long. But everything you do to show your love for Jesus Christ, you're also showing your love for that person in need. Father, I just pray this morning, Lord, that this message has helped someone. Father, I know, Lord Jesus, what you laid up on my heart this morning, God, Father, I pray, Lord, that you would touch those watching this morning, Lord. Let them see where they're failing you. God, speak to these churches, God. Let them see that they're failing you by not showing the works of their faith. And, Father, we thank you for this message. Lord, I believe I've spoke the words, Lord, that you'd have me to speak this morning. God, I give you the honor, praise, and glory for it all. In Jesus' sweet name, amen and amen. Y'all keep praying for us here at uh, Lighthouse Ministries that we would ever do what God would have us to do. We'd always have a message on our heart. God, help us to help those who are in need. We'd like to thank everyone for tuning in today, and we hope and pray that this message has been a blessing to you. And Father, people, I am trying to say, check your hearts. Make sure you're doing what God would have you to do. Show the works of your faith. Fathers, we come to you this morning, Lord. We pray for our listeners, Lord, that you would bless them, Lord, in a mighty way. Lord, help us all to become better stewards, better workers for you. And Father, I just pray, God, that, Lord, if there's one out there that's lost this morning, God, Lord, I pray, Lord, that you'd speak to their heart. Lord, that they, they would come to know you as their personal Savior. And, Father, we'll give you the honor and the glory for it all in Jesus' sweet name. And for your sake, we humbly ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, we want to invite you to tune in again next week as we have... Uh, and uh, we have a desire to try to help people along their way. And, Father, until next week, we want to say be blessed. Keep your head up. Keep looking up for Jesus could come at any hour of any day. God bless you. Till next week. <laughs>